<laughs> Are you so happy? <laughs> oh my god, it looks like a deer. I love it. <laughs> so what'd you name yours? Dodger. Why Dodger? Because last time we were here, he tried to dodge me a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. I love it. Yeah. All right, Ella. She's so cute. What's her name? Molly. Why Molly? Because I think it's a cute name and it matches her. <laughs> nice. All right. Hey, guys. Well, we did it. We got some goats. We've been listening to your guys' suggestions and decided that we should go ahead and try it out. So we've got two little goats, literally little. They're the Nigerian dwarfs. We have twins, a boy and a girl. And uh, they're clearly not gonna make a dent in this property, but you know, we're gonna test it out for a little bit. And right now the kids want them as pets, so it works out. <laughs> yeah, we figured we'd try them out, see how they work, see what all's involved in taking care of them, trimming the hooves, see how much work it's gonna take, see what it's like over the winter time, which we do have the horse barn that you've seen a couple of times. So we plan on in the winter time, if the weather gets bad, we'll put them in the stall in there. Yeah, so we, the first few nights, kept them in the stalls just to make sure that they'll be safe out on the property. Uh, we currently have them in a 300 foot electric fence by Premier One. We started out with the 100 foot um, and have upgraded to the 300 foot. So since this is our first time with goats, we decided to take them to the vet. Well, here we are at the vet. Brought Molly and Dodger to get checked over. Hi guys. Molly weighs 13 pounds. Dodger's a whopping 17 pounds. They're checking their stools and we will go from there. All right, well, we just left the vet with Molly and Dodger. Got them their CD&T vaccine as well as some uh, dewormers. So we'll have to give them another um, dewormer in about three weeks or so. Uh, Molly's hair is the way it is because of um, the parasites in her intestine. But they said not to worry, this uh, medicine will get rid of it. So they should be good as new. Molly did have a spot on her neck that was full um, of pus and they got all of that out. Um, and we just have to put some iodine on it and she'll be good to go. So um, we're excited and they did a great job. So this is the shelter that we built for them. We had a lot of help with this. Allison helped, our daughter helped, and my dad even came by and helped with the picket fence front of the building. So there's really nothing too special about this. I just went to Home Depot and got a lot of one buys and two buys, and I saw a lot of people online using these sleds, so I just cut with the circular saw at an angle here. So now we can actually drag this across the pastures because we plan on doing rotational grazing with them. So that's why we have the electro netting that Allison mentioned earlier. It's a pretty simple design really. It's just framed out with one buys and two buys with some metal roofing. And I used pressure treated fence pickets to side it. With the leftover fence pickets, we decided to make a little fence window area here. It's kind of neat. They can stick their heads over it. It's pretty funny. Uh, they also like to jump over it too. When we first put them in the electric netting, we were a little concerned that they might get out or that they might get tangled up in it. So Allison and her mom stayed here for an entire day, soaking up some sun inside the netting with them. And the goats didn't take long to learn the fence. <laughs> So my mom and I are here kind of goat sitting the goats. Um, they're a little skittish, so we were trying to, you know, let them see us and get used to us and our smell and everything and hold them. And we noticed something kind of funny. Um, my mom's over there eating <laughs> gum. And sure enough, if you look, if you can see Dodger, look at him chew. <laughs> And he doesn't even have anything in his mouth. <laughs> He's just watching and mimicking us. How funny is that? So just a little bit more about this electric netting. We actually went with Premier One poultry netting. Since these are small breed goats, the poultry netting was actually what was recommended. So it actually came in damaged. 
the mounting arm for the solar panel was actually broken, but we called Premier One and they actually shipped us both brackets for free. So I've been very happy with their customer support and we haven't had any issues with the fence. It seems to be really good quality and it, so far it's held them in. Ella, what do you think? They're eating good. They're eating grass and the food. I like this water. <laughs> well, that's gonna do it for this video. We just wanted to give you a quick update on what we've been up to for the last week. Like Allison said earlier, we realize that these two small goats really aren't gonna do anything on this property yet, but it's kind of just a proof of concept and to see what it's like. So stay tuned for more videos. We'll probably have a lot more videos with the goats. They're so cute. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See ya.